Hello everybody! So, what I'm going to show you today is installing a PowerISO file onto your system. So, the means of doing this is to install a little program called PowerISO. Uh, PowerISO is a small program that avoids the whole process of having to burn your file onto disk and then put the disk into your system and then install it through that way. It cuts out all the middleman by doing that and it creates its own CD drive so that you can mount the file onto your system, onto its own drive and then install it that way. So I will put the link for installing PowerISO on into the description below so you can install it from that. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get yourself an ISO file. Boom, I've got one. It's for Tron Evolution. Yeah, a couple years old, but sorry, I will install this for you guys. Uh, once you've installed Power ISO, it should come up. When you right-click on it, it should come up in the details, Power ISO. When you hover over it, you'll get all these options, and the No Drive icon will be sort of hazed out in a grey, and you won't be able to click on it. So to create a drive to be able to mount your image on it, you move down and hover over Set Number of Drives and then you set it to one, two, three, however many you want, or however many you want to install. Um, once it's done that, it should, when you click on my computer, there you go, it's created its own CD drive ready for things to be mounted onto. And then to mount that image onto it, you right click on it, click on Power ISO again, and then you can click Mount Image to Drive I. Hopefully now, once you've done it, you reopen my computer, and there you go. Tron Evolution has been mounted to the drive. However, don't double-click on it, because some games, some images don't work when you double-click on it. They try and run it without it being installed, and then you just get stuck in an infinite loop of just sitting there and waiting. So the thing I usually do is I right-click and open it. Once it's open, you'll have all the core files for it all, and you should be able to find your setup file. When you double-click on that, you should open up the install for the game and then you just go through the normal process of installing a game. So once you've installed the game and you don't want the image mounted on your system and you don't want this extra CD drive appeared on the f on in your my computer. So the way of getting rid of this using Power ISO again is all you have to do is you right click on it, hover over Power ISO and then just go set number of drives. Oops, set number of drives and disabled. Refreshes it. There you go, it's removed it. If anybody has any questions, any queries or anything or any problems, feel free to ask in the comments below. Hopefully next time I will not take so long in releasing another video.